Have you ever wondered about the Eye of Horus and its significance? A question that piques the curiosity of many, because this ancient Egyptian symbol holds a wealth of meaning. Welcome to Episode 7 of Arcane Anthology, where we delve into the enigmatic Eye of Horus. The Eye of Horus is a symbol that has been with us for millennia, traced back to the ancient Egyptian civilization. It's an emblem of protection, royal power and good health, a triad of elements that were of significant importance in the times when pharaohs ruled the Nile. The Eye of Horus is not just a symbol, it's a story of sacrifice, healing and restoration, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the cyclical nature of life. This symbol, a meticulous blend of teardrop spiral and a series of intricate lines, is more than just an appealing aesthetic. It's a conduit to a time long past, a tangible link to an era when gods walked among men and symbols held the key to understanding the world. Today, this ancient symbol continues to capture our imagination, its influence extending far beyond the borders of Egypt. You'll find the Eye of Horus in modern design, fashion and popular culture, a testament to its enduring allure. It's more than just an icon, it's a connection to ancient wisdom, a bridge between the past and the present. But what makes the Eye of Horus so compelling? How did it come to be associated with protection, power and health? And why has it stood the test of time, its influence undiminished despite the passing of centuries? In this episode, we'll unravel these mysteries, taking you on a journey into the heart of ancient Egyptian symbolism. We'll explore the mythological story of Horus, the falcon-headed god, and how his eye became a beacon of hope and healing. We'll examine the eye of Horus's role in ancient Egyptian life and its enduring legacy in our modern world. So let's delve deeper into the tale of the eye of Horus, its mythological origins and its cultural impact. Join us as we illuminate the mysteries of a symbol that has captivated humanity for millennia. In the heart of Egyptian mythology resides the story of Horus, the falcon headed god. Born to Isis and Osiris, rulers of the world, Horus's life was steeped in conflict and triumph from the very beginning. His father, Osiris, was cruelly murdered and dismembered by his own brother, Seth, who was consumed by jealousy and hunger for power. As Horus grew, he became a formidable force, his heart filled with an unquenchable thirst for justice. He challenged Seth to combat, seeking to avenge his father's death and reclaim the throne that was rightfully his. In the fierce battle that ensued, Horus lost his eye, a sacrifice he made in his pursuit of justice. But the story doesn't end there. In the aftermath of the battle, the wise god Thoth, patron of knowledge and magic, found and restored Horus's eye, healing it with his divine powers. This act of restoration symbolized healing and regeneration, a new beginning emerging from the ashes of conflict. The Eye of Horus, also known as the Wajit, thus came to represent not just the physical eye of the god, but also the concepts of sacrifice, healing, and restoration. It became a symbol of protection, a watchful eye warding off evil. The loss and subsequent restoration of Horus's eye was seen as a testament to his resilience, his strength, and his rightful claim to power. In ancient Egyptian culture, the eye of Horus was often depicted as a stylized eye and eyebrow. The symbol was intricately linked to the divine power of the pharaohs, who were considered the living Horus and was used extensively in their art and jewelry. The story of Horus and his eye is a powerful narrative of struggle, sacrifice and restoration. It's a tale that resonates with the human spirit, reminding us of our own ability to overcome adversity, to heal and to grow. With every symbol there's a story, and with every story there's a legacy. The eye of Horus was not merely a symbol, it was a way of life in ancient Egypt. In the world of the Nile, under the watchful gaze of the pyramids, the Eye of Horus held a prominent place, pervading the everyday life and culture of the ancient Egyptians. Its presence was ubiquitous, echoing through the art, architecture, and even the magical practices and medicine of the time. Art, for the ancient Egyptians, was not just about aesthetics. It was steeped in symbolism, and the Eye of Horus was one of the most potent symbols they used. In the grand frescoes adorning the walls of temples and tombs, in the intricate carvings on sarcophagi and amulets, the Eye of Horus was a recurring motif, a visual testament to protection, royal power, and good health. Architecture in ancient Egypt was another canvas where the Eye of Horus was painted large. 
The great temples and pyramids stood as monumental embodiments of the eye. Their architectural precision and grandeur, a reflection of the divine power and protection it represented. But the influence of the eye of Horus extended beyond the realms of art and architecture. It seeped into the mystical practices of the time, being a talisman of protection against evil spirits and a symbol of healing. The ancient Egyptians believed that the eye could ward off negative energies, and amulets bearing the eye were widely used, both by royalty and commoners, for protection and good fortune. The eye of Horus was also deeply intertwined with the medical practices of ancient Egypt. The symbol was often used in medicinal recipes, with the six parts of the eye representing the six senses and corresponding to certain fractions used in prescriptions. This connection between the eye and health was so profound that it still lingers in modern medical symbolism. The Eye of Horus was deeply ingrained in the life and culture of ancient Egyptians, but its influence doesn't stop there. As we'll see in the next scene, the Eye's legacy continues to resonate in our modern world, transcending time and geography in a remarkable testament to its enduring power and significance. The Eye of Horus continues to watch over us even in our modern world. From the elegant halls of high fashion to the vibrant realms of pop culture, the influence of the Eye of Horus is undeniable. Its unique design, a blend of the mystical and the geometric, has found a home in the world of fashion. You might see it adorning jewellery pieces, gracing the designs of luxury scarves, or even inspiring the shape and form of avant-garde haute couture. In the realm of modern design, the Eye of Horus stands as a symbol of creativity and innovation. Architects and interior designers often use the symbol to evoke a sense of ancient grandeur, while graphic designers utilize its striking form to create compelling visuals and logos. But the Eye of Horus isn't just a pretty emblem to adorn our bodies and buildings with. It's also a symbol that carries a deep and profound meaning. It represents a connection to ancient wisdom, a nod to a civilization that valued knowledge, exploration, and the pursuit of understanding. In popular culture, the Eye of Horus is often used to symbolize protection and power, a reflection of its historical roots. You'll find it in video games, where it represents magical abilities or protection from harm. In films and literature, it often symbolizes a character's connection to ancient wisdom or their journey towards self-discovery and enlightenment. Moreover, the Eye of Horus has found its place in the world of body art. As a tattoo, it is a popular choice for those seeking to express their individuality, their fascination with ancient cultures, or their belief in the power of protection and healing. In all of these aspects, the Eye of Horus serves as a bridge, connecting the modern world with the ancient, reminding us of the enduring power of mythology and the lasting legacy of ancient Egypt. The Eye of Horus, once a symbol of ancient Egypt, has now become a symbol of enduring wisdom and protection, transcending time and culture. Thus, the Eye of Horus, an ancient symbol, continues to hold its significance in our world today. This emblem, steeped in mythology, represents more than just an image. It stands as an enduring testament to the rich tapestry of ancient Egyptian culture, embodying protection, royal power, and good health. We've journeyed through the mythological story of Horus, the falcon-headed god, whose eye became a symbol of sacrifice, healing, and restoration. This tale, vivid and poignant, has given us an insight into the values and beliefs of the ancient Egyptians. Their understanding of sacrifice and restoration, embodied in the Eye of Horus, reveals their deep connection to the cycles of life and death, health and sickness, and power and loss. We've also explored the cultural impact of the Eye of Horus in ancient Egyptian life. Its ubiquitous presence in art and architecture, and its use in magical and medical practices, attest to its profound significance. The eye was more than an artistic motif. It was a tangible manifestation of their spiritual beliefs and their understanding of the universe. And finally, we've seen how the eye of Horus transcends time. Its influence in modern design, fashion, and popular culture is a testament to its enduring appeal. This symbol, with its roots in the ancient past, continues to find relevance in our contemporary world. It serves as a bridge, connecting us to the wisdom of our ancestors and reminding us of the timeless allure of mythology. In the Eye of Horus, we find a symbol that has captivated humanity for millennia. Its rich layers of meaning and its enduring legacy remind us that the past is not as distant as it seems. 
The stories, the beliefs, and the symbols of our ancestors continue to shape our world, illuminating our path with their ancient wisdom. The Eye of Horus, a symbol of protection, power, and health, continues to captivate us, reminding us of the enduring power of ancient wisdom.